Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to show how to put up a baseline using the water linked positioning system. receivers into the water it is important to have lead weights such that the position of the receivers are stable and do not move while operating. It is also a good idea to pre-measure the depth which you want the receivers to be at as we've done with the piece of tape here. Connecting up the underwater positioning system, it is important to know the number of each receiver. With the pillowcase pointing this way, Y is in this direction, X is in this direction. And I'm gonna choose that this receiver is gonna be 1, that one is gonna be 2, this one is 3, and that's 4. And this is important when we do connect it to the ports on the side of the top case. If this gets messed up, the position will not be correct. The next step now is to measure up the position of each receiver regarding the position of the master electronics. When doing the measurements for setting up the receivers, it's important to remember which receiver is which number. So we chose this one to be number one and then we need to measure its position in both y-axis and x-axis. So I'm first going to measure up it in y-axis. Having a piece of paper to write down the measurements helps a lot. receivers the next step is to connect power and ethernet cable to the waterlinks top side computer before we do this we need to make sure that the dip switch is in the correct setting depending on what IP address you're going to use the system is now powering up and we'll just wait to the web-based GUI to show up on our laptop in our web browser. We now can close the lid and this whole system is then IP67. 